بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Miss Layla Al-Jihani Welcome again dear students in another uh, lesson Inshallah today we will continue our unit Unit 2 Life Stories uh, We will start the grammar today Inshallah If we want to recall what we have taken previously uh, Last class we took uh, lesson 2 pair work uh, We had some conversations um, about a related story. Do you remember the stories? Trent and the twins and also the people who gathered from the beach. What else? There is a fourth story. Yes, Ahmed's story. Uh, so these stories, we asked each other questions about these stories. We also asked each other. We practice a conversation among each other uh, and ask about past events, things we did in the past. Okay, inshallah today we will um, take the grammar, okay? Uh, so by the end of this lesson, inshallah, you will learn how to use the simple past tense uh, in yes, no questions, short answers, information uh, questions, uh, WH questions, I mean. Uh, also, you will use it to, to in, in uh, regular sentences. Also, you will identify the expressions with uh, used to, how to use used to. Uh, identify time expressions um, for the past, uh, past habits. Um, also, you will learn how to uh, form the past, uh, the passive voice. Okay. So, when do we use the past tense? If I ask you, what did you do yesterday? Tell me, what did you do? Excellent. I studied yesterday. What else? I ate yesterday, excellent. I prayed yesterday. These are all excellent examples, thank you so much. So these sentences refer to the past. So we use the simple past uh, to express the idea, okay, that an action started and finished at specific time in the past. We know, I told you yesterday. So you know when did you do these activity, okay? For example, there are some examples here. I ate my breakfast, it was very tasty. Another uh, example, I did my homework yesterday, okay? This is how we use the simple past to talk about things we did in the past but we know when did we do it we know it's yesterday not before okay so we have some common time expressions like yesterday we have other expressions we use it with the past tense what are uh, the, these expressions we have yesterday last month last year last week, last night, okay? We have ago, like three years ago, four years ago. We have before, in 2002, in 1998. So you, specific, uh, you specify a year in the past. For example, I saw a cat last night. So this is a time expression. We went to, to a park two days ago. So you prefer when did you go? Okay. How do we form simple past tense? How do we form it? How do we form the sentence? In English, we have two types of verb when we are talking about the past tense. We have two types, regular and irregular. We have two. Some verbs we call it regular, some verbs we call it irregular. The regular verbs, we just add ed to it. Like here, walk, walked, study, studied, play, played, live, lived. Notice here, you are boys and girls, notice. Here we have two verbs end with y. صح? One of them, we removed the Y. And the other one here, we didn't remove the Y. Pay attention when you change the verb from the present to the past. Why did we here remove the Y? Because before the Y, we have D. D 
it's a regular letter, it's a consonant, okay? So we remove the Y, we put I, E, D. But here, before the Y, we have what? A. A is what? Excellent, it's a vowel. So if we have a vowel before the Y, we don't do anything, we just add ED, okay? Pay attention, I'm sure you had, uh, have taken these uh, previously. Uh, so the other type is the irregular verbs, okay? We don't put ED at the end. It doesn't take ED at the end. Like what, Yamis? Become, it changed to became. Give, gave. Drive, drove. Forget, forgot, okay? So these are irregular verbs. Can you think about other verbs? Irregular verbs? You told me before, I ate yesterday. So the present is eat. So when we talk about the past, we change it to ate. We don't add ed. It's an irregular verb. Excellent. Let's see. How do we form the simple past tense? Okay, how do we form it? With the affirmative, with the regular sentence. Okay, this, look at the example. I bought a book last week. This is not a negative, not a question. This is an affirmative sentence. It's a regular sentence. We have here, he, she, it, I, you, we, they, or Ahmed, Muna, Muhammad, Fatma. So any subject. Okay, we add to it the verb, either ed or irregular verb, like here, boat. Okay, then we complete the sentence. This is how we form the simple sentence. Okay, the regular sentence. Look at this one here. Sometimes we have the verb to be. Okay, we don't have a verb. We have a verb to be. Like what, Yemis? She was here. They were happy at the wedding. So these are examples. We don't have a main verb. We have the verb to be. But here we don't say is and are. We use was and were. Like he was, she was, it was, I was. With you, we and they, we use were. Okay, this is when we have the verb to be, not a main verb, okay? Let's see how can we form the negative. How can we form the negative, you miss? She did not sleep well last night. She did not sleep. We added what? Did. Do you remember last... Um, unit the simple present did we use did with the negative no what did we use we needed what excellent we needed do so we added do and does do you remember with the past we use did okay so with the negative how do we form it we have he and she all of them the same we only have did we don't have anything else so we have we add did and not, and we add the verb without ed. خلاص, we just put the verb infinitive. We don't add anything to it, okay? Because the past is shown here in did, okay? طيب يا مس, here we have sleep. It's a main verb. What if the sentence has verb to be like here? She was, this is a verb to be, not happy. We don't have a main verb. We only have this one. صح? Here it's similar to the previous one. She did not sleep well last night. She was not happy when I saw her. Okay, these are two sentences. Did we add did here? No. We already have an auxiliary. We already have the verb to be. What do we do? We only add the verb, after the verb to be, we add not, okay? She was not happy 
uh, or you were not happy, for example, okay? So we only add the, uh, the negative not after the verb to be. We don't add anything, okay? How do we form questions? طيب أنا, I, I already know how to form a regular sentence. I already know how to form the negative. خلاص دحين we go to the questions. What did she do last weekend? This is a question. What do you notice? Yes, we needed did. Similar to the negative. Okay? With WH questions, like what, where, when, how, uh, we add did and then we put the subject and then we add the verb without anything. Verb infinitive, only the verb like sleep, eat. Um, for example, where did uh, you go? I didn't say went, I said go. Uh, how did you study? This is another example, okay? طيب يمس, sometimes we have another type of questions, not only WH questions. We have another type, which is the yes, no questions. The answers will be yes or no. We started with did. Did she go home early yesterday? Go, is it in the past? No, it's a verb infinitive. So how do we form it? We have did. Uh, the subject of the sentence and the verb infinitive. The answer will be yes, she did, or no, she did not. No, she didn't. Okay? Okay. Another type is a yes no question using um, a yes no question with the verb to be. Like here. The verb to be was. Was he here? Yes, he was. No, he was not. So we start with the verb to be, then the subject, and then we complete the sentence. Okay? Was she happy? Were you there when I left? For example. So you continue the sentence. The answer will be, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Yes, there they were. No, they weren't. Okay, based on your sentence. Let's see here. We have two sentences. Muna wrote a book. خلاص. The other one, the book was written by Muna. The first sentence, what do you notice? Excellent. It's a simple past. We're talking about the past. Who wrote the book? Excellent, Muna wrote the book, okay? Here we use the simple past. طيب هنا, Muna wrote the book. طيب, why did we use it like this? What do we call this? Here we have in the beginning the book. So it's changed. The book was written by Muna. Why did we use this? I, I will show you another example. We have the cake was eaten. The cake was eaten. Who ate the cake? Do you know who ate the cake? No. So we use this one, we call it the passive voice. It's related, uh, we have the same بالعربي. We have the same. Like for example, Ahmed أكل tufaha. This is simple past. Or التفاحة أكلت أكلت من أكلها we don't know so we have المبني للمعلوم المبني للمجهول in English we have the same passive voice or active voice the passive when we don't know who did the action who is the doer of the action okay when we do, don't know who did the action we just write it in a passive voice but sometimes we know, like the previous one, Muna, but we are focusing on the action. The action is more important than the doer. The book was written. 
we're focusing on the action, okay? Uh, is more, the subject is not more important, okay? Let's see other examples here. How do you, we use the simple past in the passive voice? How do we use it? We have two examples. The story was reported in the newspaper. The students were educated in private school. These are two sentences. We form it, we put the subject in the beginning. And then we add the verb to be, and we put the verb three, okay? We put the verb three, like eat, ate, eaten, verb three. So we will use verb three, okay? So here, the story is what? Excellent, it's the subject. The story is the subject. And then we have the verb to be was, reported is the verb three. Then we continue the sentence. Uh, the other example, the students is the subject. Okay, where is the verb to be? Because here we have plural, we add uh, where. Educated is the verb uh, three. In private school, we continue the sentence, okay? These are more examples for practice. Uh, Michael was raised in Montreal. So, was raised. Here, do we know who raised him? Is it important to know who raised him? No. We know that he was raised in Montreal. This is what we are focusing on. صح? That's why we didn't use the past tense. We don't have a specific date. Yes? Another example, his parents were married in Tabuk. Were married in Tabuk. Okay? So, um, this is another example. The team was called the Lions. He was educated in private school. Okay? These are examples in using the passive voice. Okay? Not always we use the passive voice. We have an exception, like here. Be born. It's in your book uh, in the second part. Be born, okay? Be born, it's a passive, okay? He was born, but here we don't put the verb uh, three. We just write it like this. We have the verb to be in the past and born. She was born on May 15th. Uh, he was born uh, in Saudi. So we continue the sentence, was and where, and we just add born, okay, to talk about uh, our stories, our past events. With the be uh, born, we just add either was or where, and the verb born, then we continue the sentence. Can you tell me, um, use be born in sentences? I was born in Riyadh, excellent. I was born in 2016, for example. I was born in Abha. I was born in Jeddah. So the, all of these are examples using was born. Excellent. I want to tell you, this is a story. Okay, I will read the story and tell me what do you notice, okay? Every summer, my family and I used to go to a taif in a house on top of a mountain. I loved staying there. Every morning, my siblings and I used to go to the playground. I used to love all the games there. But my favorite was the swing. This is my favorite game. I used to play in the playground for hours when my, uh, with my siblings. There were a lot of children my age and we all used to climb stuff until one day I fell off a tree and broke my leg. 
So my parents told me to stop and never did it again. So this is a story. What do you notice? I used, used to a lot. Okay? These are things I did it a lot. Do I still do it? Do I still now play outside in the Taif? No, I stopped doing it. Why? Because I broke my leg. I broke my leg and my parents told me, Hala, stop, don't do this. Okay? So we use used to when we talk about things we do every day. Okay? But, some, but something happened and I stopped doing it. I stopped doing the action. So when you talk about a daily routine happened in the past, but now you don't do it anymore, you use used to, okay? We use used to, okay? So let's see. What did you used to do when you were a child? Tell me, what did you used to do when you were a child? Excellent, I used to play uh, outside. Now I don't do it anymore. خلاص, I stopped before. I was playing outside a lot. Excellent sentence. I used to play with my uh, neighbors. Now I don't do it anymore. Okay, these are things you used to do, but now you don't do it anymore. Okay? Used to, we use used to for past habits and states, things that were habitual, things that were routine, but stop, you don't do it anymore. Now you don't do it, okay? With the affirmative positive sentence, when I was little, I used to play with toys. With the negative, how do we form the negative? I didn't use to play video games. I didn't use to play. These are things you didn't use to do it. With questions, did you use to? Here, do you notice? Use to. We didn't add the D because we have did here. Did you use to play with dolls? This is a question. The answer will be yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. What did you use to? Here we don't add the D because we have did. Play with, I used to play with toys. Okay, this is how we form the questions. Now I want you to make sentences about yourself. I want you to use the grammar we have taken and tell me sentences about yourself. Make sentences about yourself, use the phrases and add some of your own. Share your sentences with a partner, okay? So you have to write statements using these. Be born, I was born in Riyadh, for example. Um, say my first word at the age of. So when did you, what is your first word? What age were you when you said it, okay? Write a small paragraph. Go to school at the age of. When did you go to school? Your age, you, were you seven, six? Okay. Uh, grow up, start walking at the age of. So when you are growing up, what age you started walking? You were what? One and a half, two years, three years. When did you start walking? First you f use of computer at the age of what? You use the computer first time, which age? Pause the video and try to form sentences, write some sentences using these, cover these uh, topics, and uh, then share it with your friend. Tell your friends about your past, okay? I have a sample here. Please write your own about you. I was born in California. I grew up in Los Angeles. I don't remember when I said my first word. I started walking at the age of 18 months. I went to school at the age of five. I first used a computer at the age of six. Write something similar about you, then share it with your friends, okay? 
share it with your class. So this is the grammar related to uh, used to or did not use to. So we will practice how we use this, uh, these sentences. List some of the things you used to do, did not used to do when you were young. Look back at the past. Remember, things you used to do and you stopped doing it, what are they? Write it here. Things you doing it now, but before you didn't used to do it. Write it here. Okay, so you have to practice how to um, th think about things you used to do. Like for example, I used to uh, play with my bicycle now. I don't, okay? You don't have to say now I don't, you just form it as a sentence. I didn't use to swim, but now Alhamdulillah I swim, okay? So tell me the things you used to do things you didn't use to do, okay? Fill it out here, write the sentences here. Pause the video and think about it, please. Okay, let's see my sentences here. I have two uh, examples each. I used to play with toys when I was young. I used to play with toys. Now, I don't uh, play with toys. I used to take swimming lessons. Now, I don't have lessons. I already, I swim. I don't have lessons anymore. Things I did not used to do, I did not used to take karate classes. This is something I didn't do, okay? I didn't used to play football when I was young before. I didn't used to play football, but maybe now you do, okay? These are examples. Think about other examples. Think about your past and please fill out this chart on your book, okay? Okay, so if we want to recall what we have taken before, what did we cover in this class? We, we talked about the simple present, a simple past. When do we use the simple past? To talk about past events. We learned how to write a regular sentence, how to write questions, how to write the negative. Uh, also, we learned how to use be born. Be born. I was born in Riyadh. I was born in 1988, for example. Okay. Uh, also, we learned how to use used to to talk about past events, past habitual activities, but now you don't do it anymore. Okay. Your homework, please, uh, for next time, inshallah, uh, do your. Um, Homework on your workbook, page 96, page 96, uh, as a more practice for the simple past. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, inshallah, I will see you uh, next class. Uh, good luck. Thank you.